Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up and use the Agent Monitoring and Coaching Tool. Before we begin, your monitoring tool needs to be at version 5 or higher to perform the steps in this video. Also, you will need your monitoring tool customer number and login information that you should have received from EVS. If you can't find this information, please contact EVS. Now, let's begin. After you have installed the monitoring tool, you need to enter the monitoring tool's customer number. The customer number starts with CT and is 17 characters long. Enter the customer number and click Save. If the customer number is incorrect, you will see a failed forbidden error message in the box at the top right of the screen. Make sure you entered the correct customer number. If your customer number is correct and you get the failed forbidden error message, please contact technical support. Now to continue, log in with your username and password. You will see your active extensions page. First, you need to set up an agent list so that you can monitor each individual agent. Each of your agents has a Dolphin customer number and or a Click Dialer customer number. Those customer numbers match up with the extension numbers shown on the left side of the page. Note, if you have customer numbers that are suspended, you will not see them on this page. Only active extensions are shown. In this first step, you will add your agent's extension number and name to the agent list. Click on Edit Agent List. This opens up Notepad. Very important, only one entry is allowed per line and the extension number must be different on every line. The agent name can be duplicated, however. If you prefer not to use the agent's name, you might want to enter Agent 01 Agent 02, etc., so you won't have to edit the agent list every time you replace an agent. So, on the first line, enter the extension number, an underscore, the agent's name, and press Enter to go to the next line. Do not enter any spaces before or after the underscore. In this example, Agent 01 uses both a click dialer, which is extension 101, and a dolphin, which is extension 1010. So on this line, I will enter extension number 1010 underscore Agent 01 and go to the next line. Continue entering all of your active agents into the list. Once you've finished, click on File and select Save and then close Notepad. Very important, do not rename the Notepad file or the agent list will not show up. To see the agent list you just created, click on Refresh Agent List and it will now be displayed over on the right side of the window. If you have a lot of agents in your list, a scroll bar will appear over on the right. If you need to edit the list, just go through the previous steps again to make your changes and be sure you save the file and refresh the list. At this point, you can begin using the monitoring tool. However, if you have a large number of agents, it will be easier to monitor them if you enter the agent's name in their extension as well. To do this, highlight Accounts and select Extensions from the drop-down list. This opens the Extensions page. You can either click on the extension number or the pencil icon to edit the agent's extension. You are now on the agent's extension page. Add the agent's name in the Effective Caller ID Name field. You can enter their full name if you need to. 101 is Agent 01's click dialer extension. In this example, I'm going to enter Agent 01 so that I match my agent list. 
click Save, and wait for Update Completed to appear at the top of the screen. Click on the Back button to return to the Extensions page. Click on the next Agents extension. Since 1010 is Agent 01's Dolphin extension, I will enter Agent 01 in this extension as well. Click Save and wait for Update Completed to appear. Click on the Back button to return to the Extensions page. Continue entering the agent names in the rest of the active extensions. I'm going to pause the video and continue entering the rest of the names. When you've finished entering the agent names, click on the Log Out icon and confirm you want to log out. Log back in and highlight Status on the black menu bar and select Active Extensions from the drop-down list. You're back on the Active Extensions page. Now you can see the agent names that were added to the extensions and that they match the agent list over on the right. The monitoring tool is now set up and ready to use. Of course, you will only be able to do the following steps if the agent is on an active call. The extension will light up green when the agent is on a call. First, if you want to listen to an agent, click on their extension over in the Agent list. The Monitoring Tool extension lights up and connects with the agent's extension. Second, if you need to whisper coach the agent, click on the Whisper button. Only the agent will be able to hear you. Third, if you need to speak to the agent as well as the person on the call, click on the Barge In button. This is the same as a three-way call where everyone can speak and listen to each other. To change to another agent, simply click on their extension in the agent list. The monitoring tool disconnects from the previous agent's extension and connects with the new agent's extension. You also have the option to record the agent's conversation. The recordings are saved to your computer's local hard drive. Be aware that these recordings require a large amount of hard drive space on your computer. You will need to periodically move the files off of your computer to an external storage device. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.